Hi squad, it's Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Listen, I made a mistake. I started recording. The volume was all over the place. I recorded for, for about five minutes before I realized that you couldn't even hear me in the first place. The music was so loud that I was just... Sounded like a tiny child screaming in the corner. So, uh, I've kind of spoiled myself on what's happening. You might notice around the edge of the screen, there appears to be pure evil leaking in at the edges. That is because when we left off yesterday, we found a mysterious feather on a bed. And because we're apparently evil, we apparently have low karma. After speaking to it, we've been given this, this kind of evil quest. We have to collect lunar feathers that are scattered around the map. Now, I've already collected one. I closed the game and apparently I'd already saved it at some point. So I, I wanted to go back, but sadly, I've already done it. So let me show you how it works. When you walk around Lavender, or apparently places adjacent to Lavender, and it's nighttime, ghosts will appear. You speak to the ghosts, and the ghosts will tell you where the feathers are found. So the first feather I've already collected, I'll show you where I collected that one. This is the second hint. Amidst a playground for Pokemon youngsters, the second feather hides surrounded by innocence. So what the first feather, let me just quickly teleport over there, I'll show you exactly where it is for those of you playing along, was in Vermilion. Now I'll be honest, I couldn't figure out the clue to this one. Because the clue was uh, in the place where the sun sets. I, I was going by color. I was like, oh, is it crimson? Is it cinnabar? Apparently it's vermilion. Um, up in this house, the first feather is located right here. So I don't know what makes vermilion the place where the sun sets. I guess it's because the ship sails off quite literally into the sunset. I don't know how it works. The next feather, which I did already find. And I was able to roll the game back to kind of back here. So I didn't feel like I was missing out on too much of this really cool but very creepy quest. Is uh, located, funnily enough, in... The daycare center, an area surrounded by Pokemon youngsters. I was able to get this one myself. This this basic game intended for, you know, fans of Pokemon. Not that I'm saying anything about fans of Pokemon, but you know, it's not supposed to be like, it's not like a, a skill train. It's not a puzzle game. It's not missed. You've found a lunar feather. Beautiful. A voice echoed from somewhere. Find the next feather. So at this point, we're going to go back to Lavender again. The, I don't know what causes the ghosts to appear. It seems purely random. Maybe we'll find one walking around like this. I don't know. But I've had the most luck like, in Lavender, in and around Lavender, like the route south as well is where I met the first one. I did also defeat the trainer on the route south over there. And they're not always in the same place, so... I don't know exactly what causes it. I was running around Lavender before, and I saw one like halfway up the tower. So I presume they just randomly can spawn when you've got this kind of nighttime effect going on. You see at the edge of the screen there? If that effect is active and you're in and around Lavender, I presume it can spawn there, so... Uh... Let me know if you see one. Oh, there it is. Hello, ghost. Hi there. A voice echoed from somewhere. Find the next one where water meets rest. So apparently, no idea what that means. Hello, there he is again. Find the next one where water meets rest. So apparently this next one is in... Uh, let me just have a look here. Uh, Fuchsia City. So miles away. We're not going to be able to get that one for ages. I looked up a guide. I know where they all are just to keep us moving. Otherwise, it's going to be me sat here trying to figure it out. I figured I'd be going around in circles, get, trying to get to places where we can't even access yet. Right, so that's that. I don't know if this quest is just going to be active forever now. So at the edge of the screens at nighttime, we're just going to be cursed because we're evil Batumbus. Now, speaking of being evil, I've created some horrible, monstrous things. Someone in the comment section said last episode, I talked about that thing where I was like, okay, so we got like physically cursed, uh, mentally cursed because of the implication, then also like... The obvious bait Pokemon, Lopunny, Vaporeon, Gardevoir. Somebody said that, that you can categorize them much easier with, oh, what do they say? They said cursed, uh, I, I think it was cursed, creepy, and Kuma bait, which is a great way to sum them up. Was it I think it was that anyway. It was not. It was creepy, cruel, and Kuma bait. And I think that's such a great way to, to sum this up in a much better way than I have. Barnstable obviously falls into cruel. Creepy would be anything with Mr. Mime, and then Kuma bait is, like I said, your Lopunny and everything else. So, with that in mind, I want to do some different fusions. Because I did say that some of these fusions are a bit crap. I don't really like the way we're going with it. Let me pull up my notes here. Because I did write down some stuff that I would like to uh, like to try and pursue. So, over here, we've got... Sorry, one second. Let me just reload while I tab back in. Beautiful. Uh, I've written down Raichu plus Charizard and Grass plus Steel. Oh, ghosts everywhere. Because I think those are good type matchups. I don't like that our kind of main guy that we're supposed to be using, Barnstable, is like not very good. And as I've said before, when he evolves, we're going to end up getting Grass Flying. We've already got a Flying type. We had a Flying type with Gape as well. We can't have this much stuff going on. So I think Grass plus Steel only has one, like, like two weaknesses, right? So I think that's a pretty solid combo, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. So we've got a couple of choices here. We could defuse Joris, but everyone in the comment section loves Lol Joris. So we're going to leave him how he is with Aegislash... 
Uh, Teddy Ursa. We're gonna leave that. I'm not gonna touch it. Don't panic. We could even reverse it, because then we get normal ghost, which is the type I wanted. Because that Aegis Slash is, is obviously steel ghost. If we flip it, we get kind of the perfect thing I was after. So that could be a really cool play. Uh, we've, of course, also got Hitmontress. So I'm thinking, we this, this is absolutely going in the curse category, by the way. I'm going to unfuse you. And we're going to combine the... Uh, we're going to combine the Charmeleon with the... Uh, Fortress. Yeah, yes, it should be unfused. So I'm being very careful about doing this because I don't want to waste any splices from clicking too fast. As long as we do it in this order. So let's go fuse you with... Uh, no, no, no. Don't fuse you. Sorry, my bad. Don't listen to me. Stop fusing. I want... No, no, no. Put him down. I want to fuse you with Fortress. That's my bad. So we get Grass Steel then, right? That's kind of a cool combo, I think. This is going to be mega cursed. This is mega cursed. This, is, this could be cruel or cursed or both. Fuse. They don't have custom sprites. It's not much of a surprise. Grass Steel is a fun combo. I like that. Are there any Grass Steel types in vanilla? I'm going to assume not. It seems like a weird typing. Ooh. Brings a new definition of Razor Leaf, though, doesn't it? Ah, oh, big brain. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, good Lord. What is that? It's a fucking Tenger Egg. Don't bring that near me. That's disgusting. Sturdy or Chlorophyll? Um... Sturdy, I suppose. I guess we'll go with speed or lower special attack. Attack or lower. I guess we go naughty. What to do with the move set? Drown it. Take it out back and finish it off. For God's sake. I mean, look at this bloody thing. Okay, let's go for some sort of vague combination. Um, oh, I guess we get rid of bide. Okay. Uh, knock off. Knock off is all right, actually. Let's get rid of um. Spike seems like it could have some good utility value. Sweet scent, you're good. Oh, actually, sweet scent could be sick. Does it still work the way it normally works? Laws while Pokemon are fused in grass. Ooh. This guy, Stun Spore plus Sweet Scent combo could be good for catching Pokemon, and that's actually part of what I want to do today. What was I going to do with you? I was going to. So, okay, so here was my plan. I've written again in my notes. We've got two water types as well. We've got Water Electric, Psychic Water. I think Father could be a club banger. Alakazam Blastoise seems like a fun combo. Gyarados isn't that good. I mean, it looks cool, right? Here's the plan. We're going to unfuse you. Yes. Uh, yes, it absolutely should. And we're going to combine Raichu with Charizard. I think that could be sick. That gives us electric and... Oh, I thought Raichu was electric fairy. It's a good job it's not. Otherwise, this plan wouldn't have worked. Um, we're going to fuse... Oh, somebody said it's like an alternate form. I don't know anything about Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I want electric fire. We've got to make sure that it's fire electric, not electric fire. Fire electric means when it evolves, obviously, we'll get fire electric. Otherwise, if we do that one, we'll get electric flying. Puts us back in the same situation. So I want that one. Yes. Beautiful. Fire electric seems fun. Goes hand in hand. You seen Avatar, the, the, the last airbender. Oh, Jesus. Charchu. That's cool. It's got good sprites, too. I like that a lot. An angry Pikachu. Look at that thing. Stores too much electricity. If it stores too much electricity, its behavior turns aggressive. If it encounters a strong enemy, it becomes agitated. The flames on its tail flares. Seems like an angry little guy. So, uh, oh, oh, uh, whole gust in Discord, I think, said that if it's got a green text box, it's been written custom for that Pokemon. So we've got to keep an eye out for that. Uh, static or blaze, we've got to blaze. Um, higher defense, lower attack. Higher speed, lower special defense. I'm going to go with naive. Take the gamble. This guy is going to be uh, this guy's going to be a hard hitter, I think. Oh, it's got Thunderbolt. It didn't have Thunderbolt before. I guess when you unfuse it, it gives it obviously fills out the rest of the move set. That's sick. Okay, uh, obviously let's get rid of Tail Whip. Come on now, come on now. What am I? Scary face. Can't be bothered. I'm good. This could be. Oh, Slash is sick as well. I'll take that. Uh, Flame Burst. Ooh. Is this guy special attacker or not? I presume it is. All right, let's get rid of Fire Fang. Replace it with Flame Burst. There you go. That looks cool. I like that. I think that's going to look sick when it evolves. And then, like, Father, Charchu, that's a nice combo. Still not too happy that both my Shinies are, like, two-tier evolutions from the first couple of routes in the game. Kind of sucks. I'll take I'll, I'll take a Shiny over no Shiny, obviously. But those are probably on the chopping block. I'll, I'll warn you now. I'm sorry, Weeping Tress. We've got to evolve you as soon as possible because you're terrifying. We need uh, a Leaf Stone, right? Then we've got a spare slot in the party. Um, I could do, like, Trubbish Mr. Mime. <gasps> you can trubbish Mr. Mime, because then you got me. <laughs> uh, Lopony Trubbish. I did call that one Gamer. And if, if that evolves into the uh, Lopony from Boonery, 
then <laughs> I can already name it Boonery. Hang on, loads of people were very angry. I kept calling it that. Uh, it's Boonery. There you go, beautiful. Maybe I should do that. The Trash Rabbit. What is that? What is that? Poison Normal? Oh, that sucks. You know what? Everybody loves Joris. I love Joris. I think he's a little cute fella. Bring him along. And I might flip his types, like I said. So we've got Normal Ghost, because Normal Ghost seems like a sick combo. That's only weak to Dark, if I'm not mistaken. Which I very much could be, because I don't know what's happening in this game. Right, so other comments people have left. Uh, let's run. Somebody says, speak to this guy, because the movie teaches is very, very good. So I'm going to teach that to uh, Grand's Ottoman. Drill run. Yeah, okay. Crashes into the target while rotating critical hits land more easily. Somebody said that's better than magnitude, but I suppose on average it probably is, isn't it? All right, sick. Goodbye, magnitude. I love magnitude. It's a gamble. I love a gamble. No, I don't actually gamble in real life ever, just in games. That's probably because I get it all out in games, right? Uh, okay, cool. That's one thing off my list. Somebody said get some dittos from Route 1. Good call. I'll do that between episodes. Uh, along with that, Right, here's the thing that we need to start on today. We're not going to carry on playing immediately, right? Oh, you can just use Sweet Scent from there. That's sick. Appears to be nothing here. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, we're going to teleport up to... Uh, I think it's 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 the route north of Vermilion. We're going to start working on King King, okay? Uh, Rorax, hope I'm saying that right, in Discord, has made an incredible custom sprite for King King, which we've got we've got We've got to use. Obviously, again, big shout out to Crew for making that custom sprite for Hitmontop and uh, 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 Pineco as well. That was cool. So, uh, we're looking for a slacking. I, I would love to try and maybe Poke Radar this. So, oh, it's nighttime. No! What's the Froji? What's that what's the little Froji man on the end there? Is that a Polyrath and a Gloom? I guess it could be a Polyrath. All right, you know what? Let's speed through it, see if I can find it. Oh, Poliwhirl. I meant Poliwhirl. Obviously, it's Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl's a cool Pokemon as well. Poliwrath plus something, that's another cool combo. But it's like, what was it going to be? Like, fighting something else? Combine it with a Gengar, fighting Ghost. Ooh. Okay, we'll have a chat about that. Um, listen, I need to swap out to something that can put you to sleep. I thought that's your content. <laughs> um, do we have anything with Hypnosis anymore? I think I swapped it out, didn't I? That was a mistake. What had Hypnosis before that was using? Oh, it was the Owl. It was the Hoot Hoot. I guess our best character then is Weeping Trask, because then we can at least hit it with a sun stun spot. This ball, sorry, I got no oh, hiccups. If I missed Oh, you've got hypnosis. Okay. Hypnosis plus Dream Eater. You know you gotta try it. Right, get stun spot, stupid. Don't slap my Maybe <laughs> maybe maybe he wants that. Put him out of his misery. Oh, he's so scary. <laughs> it's eyes follow you across the screen, doesn't it? It's horrible. Um <coughs> Knock off should do a small amount of damage. <gasps> Alright, lesson learned. It's alright, I've got it. I've got it under control, just don't worry. I've got this under control. We've got Oh! What the hell? We're like one health point. Shut up! Alright, we're gonna send up we're gonna round two. Here we go. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Hold on. So we're gonna speed this up very slightly just so that we can This is not even what we're looking for. This is just like a side mission for something that could potentially be cool. There you go. How did you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? It's all right. At least when he's asleep, he doesn't have to suffer. <laughs> oh, I hope the evolution fixes you. I really do. You know it's not going to have a custom sprite. Who the hell wants a uh, fortress weeping bell, victory bell? Who wants that? Me, apparently. Beautiful. Okay. Keep Polywell. Ooh. Oh, he's so polite. I would like to use that sprite. Yes. Uh, store in PC. We're fine. Polywell, I'll give him a name. Uh, I'm going to call you little, little fro Froji. Actually, we could transform it into a uh, Froji, couldn't we? Po well, it's, it's Toad. It's Politoad, obviously. Everybody knows that. Uh, Poke Radar. Right, we got Gloom. And then we'll see what the rare Pokemon is here. Obviously, I'm going for Slack Off. I might genuinely, because I think King King would be... I think Slacking is going to be like unbeatable as a really good Pokemon. I might try and chain together... I might try and chain together uh, until we get like a really good slack off. Oh. Oh, we're going to kill this one. <laughs> we've we got to kill this one. I'm so sorry. Oh, Gloof. Oh, that falls into the cruel category for sure. Joris is getting a couple of levels from this though. Ah, it's daytime. Here we go. Poke right off. Yay, there we are. Okay, hold on. Uh, slowly. I accidentally pressed speed up when I meant to press open bag. Too many buttons. I'm a one button gamer these days. Okay, excuse me. Out of the way, please. 
Okay, so what we want to do is pop the flute. Oh, people are saying the blue flute isn't another repelling one. It's, it's something entirely different. Oh, no, no, no. That's the wrong flute, my guy. Yeah, sorry. Let me show off this other flute. There it is. Uh, it awakens a Pokemon from sleep. So we, it's just like a permanent awakening outside of battle, which is pretty nice. Actually, it might be used inside of battle. I don't know that. I said that was such a... Uh... Right, okay. This is what we want to do. We want to register you. And then we want to get rid of the black flute, I assume. Okay, so do something like that. There you go. Cool. So now we say our uh, little white flute. Use the white flute while Pokemon will be Lord. Oh, it's the opposite. Ah, oh, you idiot. Right, okay, well, that's on me. Don't listen. I don't know what I'm talking about. You should know that by now. Right, uh, uh, give me a second. We'll start finding some slack off. Yes. Okay, now we start chaining it together. So I'm going to just start killing these en masse. <laughs> so we are assured like a good one. How do I know it's going to be a good one? I don't know. Am I just going to sit here for the next hour chaining them together and getting like a... Maybe I can get a shiny one. Because that's definitely... Was slacking when we get it is staying in the party forever. So I could just sit here and I just keep, keep doing this over and over and over and over. Good night. All right. See you in a few hours. Squad, I'm going to be honest with you. I got a little bored using the Poke radar. It's a real pain in the ass and it's not worth it. I probably... Honestly, I've probably killed like 50 slacking at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm not built for this. Oh, he's a cheeky little guy. Oh, a cheeky... Oh, there's so many sprites. That one's cursed. I, I, that one's absolutely cursed. I've got to take that one. So the other half... Nah, forget it. The other half of uh, slacking is... Uh, sorry, of King King. We need, of course, a King Pokemon. So that's got to be either Kingdra or uh, King Crab. <laughs> Whatever the crab... King Kingler. 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 Um, obviously, we're not using Kingler because that's for babies. We are going to do Kingdra slacking for the combo. And it's going to be unstoppable. It's going to be unbeatable. It's going to be amazing in every way. Speaking of which, charge you up front, please. It's level 36. Did not evolve. Level 38 for Charizard. Hello, ghost. Find the next one in the inn where water meets rest. I can't. All right, let's head up the Pokemon Tower then. I don't know if we're supposed to go this way yet. I don't remember. I came to see Grandma. I found this weird rock next to her. I can hear it speak when I put it next to my ear. But Grandma says that it's cursed. Do you want to let me keep it? Do you want it? Yeah. Oh, what keystone for Spiritomb. Grandma doesn't like the weird stone for some reason. You know, it's because your grandma's a, she's a little baby bitch. Come to play respects. Yeah, oh yeah, hell yeah, I did. My poor Growlithe. Oh, came to play for my Clefairy. I can't stop crying. Oh, you can go catch another one. There's loads. Oh, it's Dexter Fell, though. Yeah, hey, Bertumbus, what brings you here? Yeah, our Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. You're weird. If I can't kill them, I can at least make them faint. And people in the comment section were saying, but Thomas is evil. Does that mean Dexter Fowler is the good guy? No, we're both just evil. <laughs> we're both the bad guys here. Um, I'm going to hit you with a little Thunderbolt to really teach you a lesson. Boom. Take one of those. Take one of those and see me in the morning, you big bird bitch. Joris is just like hanging out in the back, just leveling up. Starbra. Oh, that's kind of cruel. He's got an enormous gem in his head. Maybe that's just... I mean, maybe that's actually kind of a flex. Maybe the other Kadabra are jealous. I don't know. Joris is level 17. About to send in Warsaw. Warsaw's a great name. Let's go for a little flame burst on you. Oh, it's Water. Water. Waterman, isn't it? Ah. Uh, in that case, I'll just hit you with a Thunderbolt again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you're doomed. You're so do it's, it's kind of iconic as well, freezing... Uh, fusing Charizard with Pikachu, isn't it? Those are like two of the most iconic Pokemon ever. Arguably the most iconic Pokemon ever. I need to learn Automatize. I'm good. Gyarados. Just a Gyarados. Regular plain old Gyarados. Okay. Uh, how about one of those? Four times effective. Jesus. Charchu has gone from being like low tier to absolute sweeper. Father Groot's level 35. <laughs> How's your Pokedex coming along, pal? Mm. Oh, I just caught a Haunter. I'm going to fuse it with another Pokemon to see if I can evolve it. Better get going. I've got a lot to do. Who's this? Who, who is this? This is Team Rocket. And what voice did I give them? I think I gave them the same voice. This is very embarrassing. Tell us, old man, or we're going to have to stop playing nice. Yeah, what was that all about? Come on, let's go check it out. That's how Dexter Fado actually sounds, by the way. That's him stood behind me doing the voice. He's got a separate microphone. <clears throat> Sorry, all these voices to throw me off. Uh, come on, tell us how to make the Master Ball. You were working at Selfco when it was being developed. We know you have plans. Let's go. We have ways to make you talk, old man. No, they're kidnapping that old, old fella. 
No, oh, whoa, that old man looks like he's in a lot of trouble. I'll follow up there and give Team Rocket a lesson. If it weren't for all these g g g g g g ghosts I think they're actually Pokemon, but I don't think I can get past without a self scope. Whoa. I saw a lot of Team Rocket members loitering around Celadon when I was getting my fourth gym badge. I'll go back there to investigate. You should come too, but I'm gonna smell you later. Yeah, that's right. So we can't actually go up the tower until we've, um... Hi there. Get out. Maybe we could actually get up there because those ghosts seem quite avoidable. Obviously, in... In, uh... In, in the, the regular game, they appear as, like, spooky fellas that you can't actually fight, but this seems, like, actually doable. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, they're like catching from the side. Oh, 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 oh. I'm on it. I'm on it. Nah, they're, they're, they're hard to avoid. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and cheese it. Let's not worry about it. What is this you've got for me? Elixir. I presume we can't encounter anything up here then. Uh, Poké Radar? Nah, we're good. Sweet scent? Oh, you, you do not have a sweet scent. You do not have a sweet scent at all. The only smell you unleash is a smell of regret. Right, let's go to Celadon then. Which I think we go down through this route. No, that's the fuchsia. I don't know the way to go. Because I think if we keep going down there, actually, we can go down there, fight some. Uh, well, let's go in here. What is this? Hi there. Why well, were the name rates? I like my nicknames. Oh, the name rater. Yes, you can rate my nickname. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rename uh, Barnstable. 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 Like that? Like that? How did I spell it? I think it was like that. There. Um. That's good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Name writer. Rate them. You could be the name writer. There used to be more of a demand for my work, but now traders don't come to seek my advice so much anymore. Let me write a nickname. Rate it. <clears throat> Let's see. The name certainly could be better. Be completely honest with you. It's not very good. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Fuck off. Shut up. What the hell is that? Is it just a random... Is it just like a random number generator? I would assume so, because how can he judge how good Barnstable is. We have another battle. No, this is the guy I fought in the start of the episode where I realized the music was booming. Yeah, I was trying to evolve my Magikarp, but I think something went wrong. What have you done to it? Is this going in the cruel category? Garakarp! <laughs> oh, God. You know, uh, like, it's got the same energy as when people breed like a Corgi with a German Shepherd. You breed a Corgi with anything, you get a Corgi with the colors of that other dog. It's just incredibly cruel. Treats a fisherman, Hank. Funny I had a real Gyarados. Oh, Hank. Level 37. I didn't cancel the evolution. I don't know what the hell that's about. Have I got this the right way around? Oh. It looks like a fucking Digimon. That looks 100% like, uh, like a Digimon. Charge you status was added to the Pokedex. Oh, sorry. I got the cursor on screen. Oh, no. I had the cursor on screen on OBS. Um... Well, we've got a choice then. Uh, I, honestly, I was thinking it didn't look very Charizard. I don't think I like the wings on the head. Uh, that's the randomly generated one. That one is crazy over the top. That one's cool. I like that one. I like that one too. That one's that one's very cute. Okay, wearing a little hat. That one's borderline cursed. I like the lightning bolt on the tail for that one. I think it's a toss-up between that one and that one for me. That one looks kind of sad, doesn't it? It looks like I've I've com I've like depowered a Charizard. I'm gonna go with that one. That one looks like an upgraded Raichu, whereas the other one looks like a downgraded Charizard. Perfect. Um, wants to learn Wing Attack. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's give you. Bear in mind, it's Fire Electric. Ah, oh, maybe I don't want to do that. I like Slash as a move. Now nah, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. We got plenty of flying types. You're fine. Okay. Off we go. Batombus use cut. That's so good. Find a big root. You're goddamn right. Every morning when I shower. What is this? Anyway. Did you do anything with this? You're just a just a log. Okay. Hello, fella. Oh my, I've reeled in a big one. Speaking of which. Are you challenged by fisherman chip? Oh dear. I don't want to think about fisherman's chip tens tentacle. That's cool. I like that. I like the Raichu Charizard. I think it's won me over. It does look like a Raichu wearing a Halloween costume, but it, it's a hard Pokemon to have like a combination of. Because they're such vastly different body types, right? You just kind of... That's cool as well. Again, it looks like a Goldie wearing a Halloween costume, but it's really hard. Oh, it's got light... Lightning Rod! Ground type. Yeah, now nah, we're good. That's probably like worst case scenario, actually. That's four times effective, right? Uh, father. See the moth. Father, see the moth for me. Uh, I'm just going to do a little water pulse, I think. 
Because that would still be effective, right? Bonk. Yep, that'll do. Good enough. Good enough for me. Bear in mind, level 40, Father Evolves to... Oh, you want to learn Dig. Ooh, does Dig still have, like, a special Muse to Exit Dungeons? Inf infinite uh, Escape Rope. Uh, sure. You're probably a physical attacker, so let's swap out Earth Power. 10 less damage, but actually has, like, utility. Josh wants to learn Shadow Sneak. Ooh, what does that do? This move always goes first. Oh, uh, it's okay. Lick. <laughs> no, let's leave that. That's all right. Joris is going to have like a weird moveset. It's going to have a cool moveset. Here's the question. Do we let Joris evolve? Can we unevolve it? My concern is that an Ursa ring with a sword is not nowhere near as cute as... Is nowhere near as cute as a Teddy Ursa with a sword. So I think... Can we let... Can we, can we let the sword evolve? Because that becomes like Aegis Slash eventually, doesn't it? Let the sword evolve, but leave it Teddy Ursa. Oh, yeah, here's, yeah this is a, snor a Snorlax. Right, we're backtracking, so this is allowed. I just want to see a tiny little bear carrying an enormous sword. There's probably not a custom site for it, though. Let's let's be honest, a custom sprite for it. Hi there. Pink Pokemon are just the cutest, don't you think? I'm not commenting on that. It's a ditto. Okay, that was not what I was expecting you to send out. Fair enough. Uh, oh, no, I should have I should have come and healed you. Slash. Critical. You're dead. Oh, no. Of course I know him. He's me. Well, that was easy. <laughs> What's its ability again? It's like uh, the one that powers up the fire type moves, right? Wiggly Fairy. Jesus. Uh, okay, I'll use Flame Burst. That seems just like the, the go-to move, really. Did that say 5 of 5 PP? Did I read that right? Last Julia. I guess cutest doesn't necessarily mean strongest. Thank you. Oh, let's have a chat with you before we go. Do I have a rematch? Nope. Right, sorry, let's go heal up before we get too carried away here. Four times effective fight. Dump my poor Barnstable in. But right, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. I really don't remember the way to go. I thought this goes to Saffron. Oh, do we take the route under Saffron? Right. I'm a rambling, gambling dude. What, are you on kick? I wish you'd put some fucking trousers on. Man's only wearing a bathrobe. <laughs> Call me the trash man. Right, I'm going to hit you with a... Uh, Honestly, stick with the Flame Burst. Unless we've got something effective. Let's just go with the Flame Burst. It seems to work pretty well. But I'm saying Venomish. Horrible. Cruel, cruel, cruel category right there. And also dead. Thank you. Are we overleveled? Should I turn easy mode off? I I'm going to turn easy mode off. I, I think we're like massively overleveled. I, I was a little worried about it yesterday. Now I'm like, yeah, we are. It's alright for grinding out levels, but we're not grinding out levels anymore. And I think we're just like well above where we need to be. The regular trainers aren't a threat at all. It's only like the rivals in the gyms, but like, it feels it feels weird. It just doesn't feel right. Right, where's that AXP share? I'll just give that to Joris instead. Somewhere. We also get an EXP all eventually anyway, so like, it's fine. We can, we can manage now. We're good. Two person berries. Lovely. Two Aspia berries. Probably Aspear, isn't it? Hello. Yeah, 187 octillion, 64 septillion, 980 sextillion, 547 quintillion, 461 quadrillion, 32 trillion, 867 billion, 431 million, 647,625. That's the number of possible team combinations with Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Yeah, I thought so. Can to show me which one <coughs> you're using? I wonder if they keep that up to date. I wonder if they ever update that. That's a lot. It's like a lot of it's like a lot of fellas, isn't it? Uh okay. All those fusions, and yet you still can't find a good team. Unbelievable, huh? If you have three grimers. Uh, it's what nerd types are like. You know like nerd you know like nerds. <laughs> you know, fucking nerds. Sit around all day. Oh, I'm gonna make Rimworld mods. You know those type? I hate nerds. They're like, oh, all these possible combinations. I'm going to have three of the same Pokemon. And then he surprised me with a Poliorb. <laughs> yeah, that's a combination I haven't seen before. I think that's probably a very standard combination, actually. A Raichu Charizard. Okay, I didn't mean to come in here. I thought there might have been something interesting. Volpix, Borderline, Borderline Kuma Bait. I don't make the rules. But I think it almost certainly is somewhere, isn't it? Uh, let's poke you right now. What have we got on this route? I don't know what that second thing is. I think that last one is like a... 
whatever evolves into a Manetric. That's me, Alpha. I don't want that. Well, we'll quickly spin. We'll go fast through this route just so I can see what's actually here. There's another me, Alpha. Listen, we're going to fight. Well, we're not. Actually, we're like, actually not going to fight. What have you got for me? Oh, fucking Volpix. Come on. You know what? Forget it. I can do this between episodes. Easy Pidgey. We're good. Okay. I've given you th three chances too many at this point. Hi there. We'll shock you with our twin power. You don't stand a chance. Bet. I'm going to beat up these children. Cypheri and Slowpuff. Slowpuff, definitely. First thing, not okay. Secondly, definitely in the... Oh, I could just thunder any of these. Uh, definitely in uh, Cruel. I'm not so sure about Cypheri. It doesn't seem to, like he's too unhappy about the situation. I'll try Drill Run on you, see how that looks. <laughs> Send out my Pokemon to Lightning Strike a Duck. Beautiful. Great work. That should upset those children. But somebody's got to bear in mind is evil. Making children cry is probably like very much on his... Joris can learn Sweet Scent, really. Joris can learn Aerialize, because I guess it's a slash, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Ooh. I like his moveset. Bug, Normal, Ghost, Dark. It's a weird combo, isn't it? We need some steel moves in there. Our twin power. Are you going to cry? No, I don't want to fight you again. Oh, dear. That's a lot of people. Jesus. Now, Nidoran, of course. Uh, I, I did say the movie we come for both King Kings. When we go back, we get Nidor Nidor King. And we go get a Kingler. We combine that one as well because the sprite for that one actually goes kind of hard. Someone linked it in Discord. Uh, let's go for a little Flame Burst. So overpowered. It's, it's my fault. Listen, it's my fault. I haven't changed the party up that much. I've done a lot of unfusing and refusing. But it doesn't seem to have really had too much of an impact, has it? Charina. What is a Charina? Oh, brother. Slash. You're dead. I feel like we're really overpowered. Because the league in Gen 1 only has, what, like level 50s? We're pretty pretty ahead of, ahead of the curve. Shamefully. To my shame. We must look silly standing here like this. We're really self-aware. Couldn't do that with me and my friends in real life. Volgi. The name, Cursed, actually physically not, not frightening. There's so many trainers on this bloody route, isn't there? I'm going to fight all of them. I feel like I've, I've got to. Megan is about to send in Cuff. You know what? I don't have to at all. We're already overleveled. I can come back and clean this up later down the line. Slap Cuff. <laughs> Some of the names, like, I, like it, clearly they've, they've broken it up phonetically, right? So Nido King is presumably going to be Nido and King. Shocker. But Cuff. I just think Meowth was a weird way to divide it up. You think you'd have the me and the alf, but I guess maybe that the alf is too long. Was she sending out a Kadachu? That's uh, that's also cursed. And finally, Shellran. We're not going to fight anymore. I'm going to I'm going to try and avoid trainers going forward. Actually, I've changed my mind mainly because it's not it's not the main appeal, is it? We're also very overleveled. You have some lovely Pokemon. Ah, oh, thank you. You're not so bad yourself. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Ooh. Give him the Razzle Dazzle. Beautiful. Never saw his coming. What about you? You're probably not like an aide, are you? You're a trainer. Okay, I'm going to dash behind this gambler. So this would be where we're not allowed through, because I think it's Team Rocket. Yeah. Ah, uh, 100,000. Do you think if you grind it up, they let you in? Because I could. It wouldn't take me that long. Piss off, old man. I'm not finding anyone else. Turn around. Mind your business. Go, go, go. Okay, we're good. Crash. Nothing in here but trash. One day, you know they're going to put something good in there. They're trying to catch you out. <laughs> I'm not even going to check the other one out of disrespect. Where are we? Uh, we're on the other side, of, other side of Saffron, right? I don't want to fight you if I can avoid it. Okay, we're good. This is all trainers this way. I'm not doing that. Okay. In the grass, we've got... I don't know what that last one is. Oh, is it a worm pull? Uh, it could be. Celadon, here we go. So Celadon is big for us because we've got so many Pokemon that evolved from stones. Ooh, what have I found here? This was an accidental. Hi there. My dear Pokemon, keep me company. Meowth even brings me money home. The life of the rich and famous, huh? Hi there. Yo, Batumbus, I'm the game creator. Did you know that there are 220,900 possible fusions in this game? I can put City of Pokedex complete if you catch all of the 470 base Pokemon. I'm not doing that. I appreciate that, but I'm not doing it. It's not really Professor Oak, isn't it? Oh. 
This is for sure one of the beds that has the feather on it. Remember this location. I think they've all got a pink bed sheet. Ooh. Flying high cliff racer fly. What is this? Don't you dare touch it. What is it? That's my precious Evie in there. Me. I have to leave it here because I'm always working, but Evie gets a bit lonely up here and doesn't get much exercise. I'm so busy all the time. I wish I could spend more time with it. We might do me a favor and walk my Evie. Okay. We'll keep it around for a while until it gets tired. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Sure. I guess I just carry on with what I was doing. I run around with the fucking thing. Okay. Sure. I'm all right with that. Let's go and have a look. Hi there. I think the game corner is bad for our CT's image, but it draws... Oh, the game corner. Oh, I love a gamble. I can't be held responsible. Cannot be held responsible. Hi there. So Rocky's been pretty active in the city. Tell you the truth, I find it a bit worrisome. My dream is to catch every single Pokemon. I'm getting close to my goal, but then Sylphco came along and developed fusion technology. There are way too many Pokemon for me to catch. I like that they tied it into the lore. Hi there. That rare bone of yours. Please let me buy it from you. I'll buy it for a high price. What are you buying, stranger? Ten thousand dollar I dues. I'm a collector, so I don't mind spending big money on big things. Oh, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Anyway, the new magic gathering set came out. If you ever come across a pearl string, I'll buy it from you. Don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut. That big nugget of yours, I'll buy it for a high price. Twenty-five thousand dollar I dues. I'm a collector, so I don't mind spending money on these things. Holy shit. Good lord. That's our PSA 10 big nugget right there. Come along, Evie. Hi there. Blocking the entrance to the sewers. Why? That's none of your business. Right, bear that in mind. <laughs> okay, that's a red flag, isn't it? Hi there. Oh, I got my coughing and Cinnabar. It's nice, but it breathes poison when it's angry. A bit like me. So some strange men going down in the sewers earlier. Oh, I vaguely remember this, yeah. Hi there. What do you think of my rare Dratini? I bought it with all the coins in one of the slots. Oh, we can get a Dratini. Do you want to teach the move Roost to one of your Pokemon? Absolutely not. Roost bloody Roost. I'm good. Just gonna have a look around. Well, there's an old man there. Hi there. Have you ever seen a Pokemon like this before? It's native to Sinnoh, but you can find rare Pokemon such as this one in Kanto by using the Poke Radar. That's crazy. Don't go upstairs. I left some food out the other day and I'm swarming with Rotata. What, so you've just like condemned the room, you fucking weirdo? Oh, I'm overwhelmed. I've been trying to get rid of the Rotata for so long. It's starting to think. Oh, I'm, st I'm starting to think like one of them. This music by teaching the move Super Fang. Oh, that's funny. Nah, you good. It's got some Fighters Guild quest energy, hasn't it? Do you want me to defeat them or? Man's happy with it. He's living his life up there. I'm sorry, sir. Your your husband has become a rat. They're there forever now. Okay, let's go. Have I been? What's this building? Oh yeah, I know. I've been in here. Sorry, I don't want to miss anything because there's like a lot of lot of quests and shit in this game. What are your favorite Pokemon? Cute or strong? Okay, don't let me answer. I guess it was rhetorical. Alakid? My wife performs small, small and cute Pokemon. I want to trade for an Eevee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? I just fucking gave someone's pet away. Oh, I feel dreadful. But Thomas, you got to play the character. But Thomas is an evil piece of shit. We've already established that. He's quite literally seeing dark specters because he's so evil. Here's your Eevee back. Oh, I feel... I feel awful. I feel awful, but Batumbus is probably like... Ee -hee -hee -hee. Here's your Eevee. What, you traded it away? But that's horrible. Eevee wasn't yours to trade the Novani. How could you do such a thing? I never want to speak to you again. You better leave. Batumbus obtained Alakid. Oh, free Alakid? Oh, well, fuck you then. I'm going to name you Eevee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cruel man. Hello, ghost. A voice echoed from somewhere. Find the next one in the inn where water meets rest. Well, if that's future, we can go there. I don't think there's anything stopping us going to future. Oh, we're so evil. Has that stuff around the edge of the screen gotten worse? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it has. Oh, I'm like pure evil. I'm a piece of shit. Oh, he's got his Elekid back. I'll have a chat with him. Take good care of your review, I promise. <laughs> That is so fucked up. Never been outside of Celadon City. Oh, honestly, I, I take the piss out of that, but actually my grandparents were the same. My nana's literally never left the street she was born on. It's like an old person. It's like a city old person. Obviously, she's left the street. She's like gone around the town. But apparently when my grandparents got married, they wanted to move back to my granddad's town, which is another tiny countryside village of like 12 people. And my nan panicked and refused to go there. That's crazy. 
Meanwhile, when I, the second I turned 18, I was like, oh, like 21. I was like, I'm off. The other side of the country. I'm out. Superpower. Sure. Uh, Joris can learn superpower. Can you fuck? Okay. Hell yeah. Fighting. 120. Hell yeah. Uh, get rid of Bug Cutter. Bugs are cowards. You're a strong teddy bear with a sword. The most fearsome. Hi there. Team Rocket. I'm, I'm going to teach it like Hyper Beam as well. I think we want to just give it like big dick energy moves. Put some DNA spice in the trash can downstairs. She'll hope that no Pokemon go into it. Okay, fair enough. What's wrong with you? Why are you buying shit and putting it in the bin? What the hell? Something jumped out of the trash can. It was going to be like a rat at a... <laughs> Cruel? I'm catching it. Dicto. Oh, you can't infuse. Oh, no, it's traded Pokemon. So this is like a free ditto then, isn't it? Okay, sick. Dicto. Okay. Um, Weeping Tress. Let's get you in. We're in a trap. Ah, oh, I don't want to kill you. All right, let's give it a love ball. Opposite gender? Oh, it doesn't have one because he's a diglet. Or more specifically, I think because it's fused. Um, sorry, I meant ditto, and then I meant it's fused, and then I said both the wrong thing. You know what I meant. We're good. Astonish. I am. Okay, I'm gonna use my great balls on it. If that doesn't catch it, we'll call it a day. I can get a ditto from elsewhere. I'm not that that obsessed. Ooh. Press B. Spam, spam B. Gives you a better... You've got to hold down. Press B. Press start. Hold down on, R on all the face buttons. And then scream. And you have a higher chance of catching it. It's true. My cousin told me. And his dad works for Nintendo. Fuck's sake. Magnitude 5. Digto, I'm giving you a chance to live your life. Because I'm going to be honest. I'm going to kill you. And you're going to die in that trash can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock you unconscious. And you're going to die in there. Oh. Oh. See, I told you it worked. Sometimes you just got to be persuasive with your words and deeds. 134 experience for Joris. Oh, no. That's a mocus. <laughs> Very good. I like that one. That one's cool. That one's scary. That one's good. That's the basic. Yes. 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 Oh, mocus. Mocus. There you go. Not happy about it. I'm actually never going to use that on on principle now. And these houses are laid out weirdly, aren't they? The only thing separating you and your neighbor is a flight of stairs. It's bizarre. I think that has got worse around the edge of the screen. Because when we were in the Pokemon Center before, it was only like a tiny bit. And now it's like, am I, am I like becoming more evil because I gave away someone's you tried to ponytail for a ride? You're an idiot. No one's going to make a Rapidash. It's Kuma Bait, isn't it? What are you looking at? Is this a game corner? This is the prize shop, isn't it? Oh, Mr. Streamer, did you know in Japan they can't... Yes, I know. I know they can't legally gamble, so they get around it, blah, blah, blah. I understand. You send your coins for prizes next door. That's crazy. Uh, do you need some game coins? I do. Honestly, we can basically just one-to-one. -one. I can just send me Elf and go get some money. I can send me Elf, get some money, and then... Oh, there's a ghost here. You need a coin case. I do need a coin case. Hello. Find the next one. When the yeah, okay. Do you have a coin case? Don't touch the poster over there. There's no secret switch behind it. Okay. There's nothing there. They got you. They baited you. Obviously, in Gen 1, it's basement here. But in, in this game, it's the sewers. How do I get a coin case? Hold up. What the hell's going on down there? Okay. There's a ghost. Hi, fella. Is there anyone going to the sewers? Yeah, we've already spoken to you. Okay, let's speed up a little bit. I'm looking for the coin case specifically. I, it's, it's like an old man in a restaurant, isn't it? Or is that Gen 2? No. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Oh. What have I found? Oh, there's a ghost. Hello. Well, they've got Pokemon in cages. What the hell is this? Hi, fella. You here to buy a Pokemon? Here are the Pokemon we have for sale today. A Noibat. I don't know what that is. Sun Sunmander. Ooh. Okay. Kingth. It's half the king. I might take the Kingth. Because then we can get King King. I just go get a Nido King. All right, go buy King. I do. Sold. This is a Pokemon from Team Rocket. Oh, this is a black market. Oh, I'm a bad. I'm a bad person. Did it, did it make the edge of the screen like worse? So what we have for sale today: Noibat, Sunmander, King. I'm not gonna buy any. That's cool. We gotta remember to come back here then. 
Hello, ghost. I'm an, I'm the evilest Pokemon uh, po evilest Pokemon trainer ever. Is this book, book say something? Nothing. Team Rocket be like fucking hell. We can't like, we can't afford to pay your super splicer the new and improved type of DNA splices. What is what is a super splicer? Splicer no splicing. What does that do? I vaguely remember these from when we played before. Results in higher level fusion than regular spices. Right. Okay. I wonder if it takes the level of the highest Pokemon rather than the average or something like that. Don't waste them. I'll do what I like. Wonder how it would often to be a Pokemon. How do they experience the world? How do they? <laughs> Furry bait. Hi there. What's what's that thing doing on the table? I guess Saffron City is a bit larger, but more people live over here. What is that? It's just a, it's just a cocoon on a table. What's the joke? I guess it's just hanging out there. It doesn't have to necessarily mean anything. Yeah, I thought there was a restaurant, and in there was someone who like gave you the coin case. Maybe it's like the, the quest reward for this town. Who the hell knows? Okay, conducting on studying the Eevee. Could you show me that Pokemon that Eevee evolves into when it's exposed to one of these two stones? Okay. Moonstone? Sunstone. What the hell does an Eevee evolve into with a sunstone? I thought Espeon and Umbeon was just nighttime or daytime. Oh. We've got to go catch an Eevee. I think that was on that secret route one. There's an old legend that says, The bell in Lavender Town reveals its secrets if one rings it at night when the time is right. Uh, it's only a legend, however. No one knows if it's really true. Oh, I'm not entirely sure what it means, but I'm sure someone could decipher its enigma. <laughs> There's a big prize waiting for whoever figures it out. For whom the bell tolls. Ring love into town's bell when the time is right to reveal its secret. Okay. 420, obviously. Don't know why the text goes or Zalgo there. Yep, see you later. Hello there, I'm looking for a man to make an omelette. What the fuck? Uh, wouldn't you find me an egg so that I can make it happen? Any egg will do. Give her an egg to make an omelette. Okay. Sure. The goats are my friends. Because I'm pure evil. Okay. Well, I don't know where to get the coin case. Let's have a look down here. This is to the gym? Right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Fuchsia. 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 Fuchsia City. Ah, oh, I had them confused in my head. I was thinking Fuchsia City was the grass gym because Fuchsia. But Fuchsia is a uh, type of plant. But no, it's uh, Fuchsia City's Koga's gym, isn't it? Oh, I'm an idiot. Where the water meets the whatever. Yeah, I get it. Um, Erica, specializing in grass type Pokemon. I mean, we could probably just go in and quick sweep Erica if you fancy it. Let's do it. Or not. <laughs> there's no creepy old man here. Oh, it's Batumbus. There is. Oh, there's so many ghosts. Oh, a twisted spoon. No shit. Boost psychic type, right? <gasps> Give it to father. Oh, there's so many ghosts, bruh. Is the more you walk, the more ghosts spawn or something like that? That's cool. A little unnerving, but kind of cool. Excuse me, excuse me, ghosts. <laughs> Hello. Find the next one in the end where the water meets. Okay. It's going to get quite annoying because they seem to be multiplying. Dexter Felder, what's happening? Yeah, whoa, this kid's not messing around. Better make a run for it. No, oh, drat, they ran away. Oh, but Tumbus, these two rocket grunts knew about that old man we saw in Pokemon Tower. Ah, looks like it's some blo bloke. Oh, he's like a geezer. Looks like he's some bloke called Mr. Fuji who runs in Pokemon Orphanage. I was pressing them for more information, were he? You distracted me and they got away. Ugh. Well, they weren't just grunts anyway. The lowest of the lowest, so I doubt they know anything worthwhile. What we need to do is find whoever's in charge of Team Rocket. Take the old thing down from the top. I guess I'll have a look around for their headquarters. With so many of the grunts in the city, it has to be nearby. I'll let you know if I find anything, Batumbus. That's if I haven't already taken down the whole organization by the next time I see you. Smell you later. Of course he's a geezer, because Dexter Feldo's from London. He's not, but he, you know, he pretends he's not. He does go to Pratt an awful lot. What could all this noise possibly be about? Oh, it's Erica. Erica, I'm going to lie, fella. My, my voice repertoire is at an all-time low. I got, I got a sore throat. I got a chest infection. Uh, there I was, grooming Tangler's vines, when the poor thing started, got startled by a loud noise and tore out one of its vines. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but it will grow back, don't worry. Did I hear that Team Rocket was causing trouble again? Ah, uh, they've been all over the city lately. Rumor has it they made their base somewhere in the sewers. And you've just done nothing about that. You've just done nothing about that. Uh, by the way, my name is Erica. I run the gym next door when I'm not tending my flowers. Yeah, when you can be asked to do your job. 
<laughs> oh, Team Rocket have kidnapped Mr. Fuji. This is worse than... She's already sliding into the old Dexter Feldo voice. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. We have to do something about it. Follow me. We'll go after them. I don't want to right now because we're 49 minutes into the episode. So I think we'll wrap it up here today. Thank you for joining me. Sorry, let me just see if I can get to a Pokemon Center around all these ghosts. Excuse me, ghosts. I'll start working on the quest for this town so that we can jump in tomorrow just to meet a little bite. Boom, boom, boom. Hand it in. Uh, hello? Locked? I don't know where to get a coin case. I think I will, um... Oh, it evolved into a Politoed. Wait, what? Politoed. It evolved from a Poliwhirl when it reached level 37. You're a goddamn liar. Oh, maybe that's how they've done it. Because, of course, you normally trade it with a King's Rock. But I guess you use a Waterstone on it normally. So I'm going to go get an Eevee. In between episodes here, I'll get an Eevee. I'll get us a Ditto. Oh, we got a Ditto. That's right. I'll get us an Eevee or two or three or four or whatever. Um... What other quest can we set up for here? We need to give the lady an egg. So I'll just get ready, and the next episode we'll jump in. We'll turn all the turn all the stuff in. I may pre-record next episode immediately after this one because tomorrow I'm going to be incredibly busy. Got someone coming in to help fix the leak. Uh, I've got to redo the floor in the kitchen, which is no. I'm multi-talented, you see. Uh, enormous pain in the ass. I'm doing it all myself, and I've got some new saw blades coming tomorrow. So that's that's my time to shine. Uh, I've already recorded Rimworld, so I'm way ahead of schedule. So I might do Pokemon as well, just to keep myself. Plenty of time. I'm enjoying this game a lot. It's, it's, it's a huge amount of fun. It's the highlight of my day. So hopefully you're enjoying it as well. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> so sad to say. This is the highlight of my day. But it's a lot of fun. It's a good time. I'll see you all tomorrow. But I will turn in that quest. And I guess we'll go to the sewer level. Might not be the fucking highlight of my day then.